Greetings to Obojin here, starting off a new series in uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, two Sith Lords. Gonna get started here. Uh, I got all my points and stuff all allocated, so get this going. I'm sure all this will get uh, a bit of copyright on it. I don't care. drift in space after a terrible battle. Most of its crew are dead or dying. You lie in the medical room in critical condition. You won't survive long without medical attention. The hyperdrive is damaged. Main power must be restored in order to bring the engines online and dock with the nearby Paragus mining station for much needed repairs. Your fate and that of the Ebon Hawk depend upon T3M4, a lone astromech droid. Return to this location at any time to skip the prologue. Well, this is all completely optional, but... Press W-A-S-D to move T3M4. Yep. Uh... You have new quests. To view your quests, open the game menu, default escape, and look in the journal, default J. This room contains a plasteel cylinder and the communications console. You will come across many containers, some of which will be locked. The computer spike... Yeah, well, it says, uh... Basic game. Okay, so this is gonna... It's a little loud. You can see it, I already have it way down, but it's still very loud, at least to me.
This is the main hold. You can hear a banging noise coming from the other side of the door to the storage compartment, but the door is sealed shut and can- So we can open that. Your security skill is too low to open this footlocker. However, you can use your weapon to bash- Using that can break things though too, so I don't know if it's a good idea. Sometimes bashing or blowing open a container will break some of the items in the container, but you can use Yes, that's what I said. Okay, nothing. Lots of damage. If you need help, this lift will take you to the outer hull of the Ebon Hawk, where you will find many parts and mines to use for accessing and repairing the hyperdrive. Use the lift controls to go up. Got it, thanks. You can use this lift. So it's a little too basic. So here we are, drift in space. Some of the graphics will look a little dated, but for the most part, still decent looking, I think. This is the starboard side of the Ebon Hawk. This open hatch has some parts that will be useful for getting main power restored. Thanks. Busted engine port has some needed parts. This busted engine port has yeah. some needed parts for the Ebon Hawk's hyperdrive. Take the parts here back down below to get Don't forget to explore the other This is the The bubbles ahead indicate mines that you've detected automatically with your Approach mines carefully. They will blow up and damage you if you get too close. Recovering okay. mines require Super good. Look at that. Okay, this little guy's got enough skill to recover mines. Time this one. Okay. You can use the explosive device in this missile to blow open the engine room door inside the Ebon Hawk. This will give you access to the hyperdrive. Yep, you can use it. this. Yep, got it. This is the goal. There is a hull breach in the area beyond this door. Safety protocols prevent you from opening it. This is the engine room. The store is damaged and cannot be opened with your security skill or by bashing it. You can use a mine to open this door. This is the engine room. The port engine is shut down but appears intact. The starboard engine is badly damaged. Fixing it won't be possible until after docking with the pearl. The hyperdrive is suffering badly. However, you should be able to rig the hyperdrive. Success! The hyperdrive is online. Primary power is restored. Only one step remains. Return to the galaxy map in the cockpit and travel to Paragus. Okay. So it could be fairly straightforward. Do a little exploring yet. This is the cargo. Talking to other characters is much like using the computer console in the cockpit. 
Note that some responses may influence how other characters react. Furthermore, certain skills, powers, and attributes may modify what choices you have. Ew. 3 CFD is malfunctioning. You can fix him by using a part. Luckily, you have already found one. If you repair 3 CFD, he can join your party and assist you in repairing the ship. Success! You have fixed 3 CFD. Now he will join your party. Yay! I don't think I need him though. Three CFD is now a member of your party. To change which party member you control, click on their portrait or press tab. This container is locked and requires a key. Search the ship to find the key to this locker. <laughs> Sensor droids emerged from this box when you opened it. These droids will make for excellent target practice. Use the weapon from this container to attack the droids. Okay. Um. Well, he doesn't have. by pressing Q or Good work defeating the sensor droids. To Yay. continue combat training, open the metal box again and more sensor droids will appear. If you encounter a difficult block on a container or door, can use the security to lock on this metal box. Okay. Guess we can do a tunneler right now. This Ooh. container is locked and requires a key. Search the ship to find the key to this locker. Huh. I thought there'd be be in that room. Silly me. This blast door is magnetically sealed and cannot be opened. Got it. This is the main hold. Anything I miss in here? This old woman appears to be dead. There is a key card on the body that looks like it opens a locker somewhere. Huh. This blast door is magnetically sealed and cannot be opened. So now we should have the uh Well is that locker? This is the cargo hold. There we go. You use the key card you found to open the locker. The impact armor from this locker can be equipped on the equip screen. To open the equip screen, click yeah. on the blaster icon. This is the engine room. Thing. This Very is the deep. garage. To access the area beyond this door, you will have to use solo mode, default B. Click the solo mode button at the bottom right area of the This is the garage. To access the area beyond this to access the area beyond this door, you will have to use solo mode, default B. Click the solo mode button at the bottom. While some doors can be bashed open or cut open with a lightsaber or cutting tool. This is the medical room. Found myself.
The med pack can stabilize your condition. There we go. Success. You are stabilized. To recover fully, you will require the medical facilities at the Paragus mining station. But you are not in any danger of dying from your wounds right now. Yay. This is the main hold. Yep, got it, thanks. You can hear a banging noise coming from the other side yep. of the door to the storage yep, yep, compartment. Yep. But the door is sealed shut and cannot be opened. Everything's done here. This is the cockpit. And now we can go. You can now plot a... There we go, travel. The sensors show the door to the storage compartment is being sliced. There is someone, or something, else alive on the Ebon Hawk. Uh oh. That's not good. Can go with my droid. Appeared to be in some kind of medical bay. Awaken. I don't know, I think the, uh, looks for the character model aren't too bad, they're a little dated, but it's all good. Can get information. Still examining the survivors of the damaged freighter. Looks like it goes by the name of the Ebon Hawk. Only one survivor, placed in the Coltal tank for recovery. The carbon scoring on the vessel suggests it was in a battle, but no indication of who fired on it. Couldn't get much from the Nava computer. I'm surprised the ship was able to make it inside the Paragus asteroid field without the asteroid drift charts. Aside from the lone survivor, we recovered an old woman. No life signs. There was also a protocol droid and a utility droid on board. Sent both down to maintenance while security sorts through the other items on the ship. It looks like the utility droid, a T3 unit, was able to get the ship working enough to get to the colony. We're prepared to- Well, that's interesting, got cut off. Could be a Jedi, but we won't know for sure until we get the transmission back from the Republic. If the survivor is a Jedi, that would account for the recovery rate. But I'm more concerned that a Jedi here may cause trouble. Some of the miners, especially Korta, are already st Another accident today. A detonation in the ventilation tunnels. 
If the lockdown measures hadn't activated, the whole facility would have been destroyed. Got most of the injured to the Colto tanks in time, but the rest had to go to the morgue. One of the wounded said a droid caused the accident, but we couldn't get any specifics. Interesting. Miners oh. about the Jedi. A number of the droids have been acting oddly, and not even memory wipes seem to be fixing the problem. There was a detonation in another one of the fuel vents the droids were working in. We deactivated several of them and moved them down to maintenance, but we're still treating the plasma burns. That cuts us down to almost half shifts, and with the droids malfunctioning, we may not make the Telos shipment for this month. Fortunately, the detonation didn't cause a lockdown. Warning, there has been a fuel detonation in the mining tunnels. Emergency lockdown commencing. All personnel report to quarters and prepare for emergency venting countermeasures. No, if the ventilation systems are malfunctioning, evacuate the medical bay. Everyone evacuate. Oh, so they're having troubles. But he's dead but me. Okay. Treatment. That open. Okay, I think I got the thing. Basics here. I guess I don't. I guess I can't. Never mind. Well, now maybe I can. I think I could only could make one maybe? Okay, there's so much I got. So we made something. Oh maybe we need this open. Alright. Something else I had to do. We're killing. Oh, I thought it. Well, I guess I missed that one. Not bad. That's my torch. Huh. She woke up. Thought you were dead. Find what you're looking for amongst the dead. Close to death. Yes, closer than I'd like. You have the smell of the Colto tank about you. How do you feel? Uh, Culture Tank left me a little drained. Who are you? I am Kreia, and I am your rescuer, as you are mine. Tell me, do you recall what happened? Uh, 
best thing I remember. I was on board the a Republic ship, the Harbinger. What happened to it? Your ship was attacked. You were the only survivor, a result of your Jedi training, no doubt. I'm no longer a member of the Jedi. Your stance, your walk, tells me you are a Jedi. Your walk is heavy. You carry something that weighs you down. Let's deal with the now. What is this place? I do not know. I was removed from the events of the world as I slept. A survey of the surroundings may provide the answers we seek. The ship we arrived in must still be in this place. We should recover it and leave. Explain why you're in such a we were attacked once, and I fear our attackers will not give up the hunt so easily. Without transport, weapons, and information, they will find us easy prey indeed. I'll go look for our ships and some weapons. You may wish to extend your search to some clothes, if only for proper first impressions. Gel. Yes. I'm not offering to help you. I'm not so young as to leap from death's door as quickly as you. Uh, I'll return soon and make sure you're all... I leave you to the explorations of this place. Here I will remain and attempt to center myself. So, we got... A weapon of sorts. Taking the first steps. Where's the light side? Emergency lockdown. Yeah, old fashioned. Yeah. Emergency lockdown overridden. Oh, there's corpses in here. Okay, let's get a real weapon. There we go. That's better. Wow. Well, his face get burned off? Emergency lockdown is in effect. Okay. Turbolifts okay. have been sealed to contain the explosion. Hey, I moved in here just to remind you that if you like what you see, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for future notifications. Now, let's get back to the program. Droids are still active. Interesting. No loot. Guess not. Anybody living well here? No. Nothing there either. I don't think I can get through this door. This is the exit, but it is sealed. Strange. In my visions, it was open. Talk to us, just make comments.
Is this thing on? All right, all hands, especially you, Corner. Listen up, because I'm not going to say this again. The next one of you Juma heads to try and smuggle a blaster, or so help me, any sort of military-grade frag weapons into my facility is going to take a long walk out the airlock. Why? Because in case you forgot, Paragian fuel explodes at high temperatures. That's what blasted that chunk out of Paragus II and created this asteroid field. So if I catch any of you with anything other than sonic charges or mining lasers, I'll burn you and your contract. Security out. So a little angry. And according to one of the miners, it was because one of the sonic charges went off prematurely. And like before, it was one set by a mining droid. The three idiots were grouped so close to the charge, it might as well have been a grenade going off. The blast turned their bones to dust. The blast wrecked the internal components of the droid that set the charge, though, so we can't even dissect it to see what happened. I don't like what's going on here. Ever since that Jedi showed up, things are getting worse. It's not just Korda and his miners, or the fights, but now the droids are acting crazy. If we don't find what's causing this, or who, this facility's gonna be space dust by the time the next Helos freighter arrives. That's so, troubles. you're in maintenance. Then maybe you can tell me what's going on with these droids. Sir, I don't know. It's like their behavior cores are undergoing binary decay, but I can't find the source. This shouldn't be happening. Well, that's reassuring. It isn't happening. So the next time we nearly have a breach in the ventilation tunnels, I could just close my eyes and pretend it's my imagination. You better give me some answers. I want to know the damage these droids can do if they start mining us instead of asteroid rock. Sir... These droids aren't combat models. Their mining lasers are weaker and less accurate than blasters. I doubt those droids could even hit one of us. Are you blind? What about the miners in Medbay? It's sabotage, and it started right after the commander said we weren't going to sell the Jedi to the Exchange. So I want you to find out how these droids are being sabotaged. That'll tell me who's trying to clear a path to get that Jedi off the facility and stop him. In the meantime, make sure the security's armed with all the ion and sonic charges you can find. If those droids start coming after me, I'm gonna need more than low-grade mining lasers to take them down. Clear? Yes, sir. Maintenance control out. Idiot. Yeah. Didn't look like they were armed enough. We got taken out. I installed an override switch to shut down any droids on this level, just in case someone locks me out of the administration console. As added insurance, I tied the override switch into the circuit to the holding cell door. It'll make sure it can only be opened if all droids in the level are shut down. I doubt Corda or any of his men have the skill to pull off something like this, but I'm not taking any chances while we're sitting in the middle of this asteroid minefield. Whoever's responsible won't be able to have the droids rescue him after I lock him up. Nothing will cut through that door. He'll be trapped. I secured the stealth field generator inside one of the footlockers in the security storage room. If I have the specs right, the interface field should be effective against the droid sensors. All I need to do is equip the belt and some skill with stealth in order to use it. As long as I don't get too close to the droids, they shouldn't detect me. If any more droids start malfunctioning, the belt should buy me enough time to get to the override switch I set up in the communications blister console. I'd rather shut them down than destroy them. I want to find out how these droids are being sabotaged. Maybe even turn them against whoever's sabotaging them. It doesn't look like, uh, he got hoarding. Wanted. Oh look, there's somebody in there. Hmm, we'll have to get there. I think that's it. Be careful. There is much energy in the room beyond, yet it stems from nothing that lives. Yes. Can you not sense them? Reach out. Cast aside your sight. Cast aside what you see 
and instead reach out with your perceptions. Ah, you can feel them. The droids you cannot perceive, but the small oscillations of energy that you can feel echoing outwards. Okay, you are basic save. Haven't saved in a while. Ah, you hear it. It is faint, but it is there. Okay. Feel strange like the sedative it's wearing on. It is the force you feel. It has not been so long as for you to forget. That doesn't feel like it did. It looks like it's coming across a great distance. Do not turn away from it. Listen. Feel it echoing within you. Come. I shall guide you down the familiar paths. You will need it if we are to survive and escape this place. Okay, so apparently I leveled up. Let's see if I can bring that up. Okay, there's the stealth. Probably not gonna use it. Okay, I can't loot them. <laughs> okay, level up. Um, sense to an art specialist. So, what I can do skills. Got five points. Yeah, not to worry about stealth. Gonna do that. Paradise. Let's just do these. Maybe repair and demolish at some point. Okay, powers. Um. Still. Speed for spoiler. Interesting. Affect the mind. Stun, stun droid. Lightsaber. I'm gonna do that one. Moving along. Well, 
Let the ability lasts pretty long. Okay, we got that down. Look out. Anything else we could do? Damage mining. Beyond this door, someone yet lives. Be mindful. His thoughts are difficult to read. Staying out. But you have nothing to fear from this one, and he might yet prove useful. Nice outfit. What, you miners change regulation uniform while I've been in here? Who are Atten. you? Atten Rand. Excuse me if I don't shake hands. The field only causes mild electrical burns. Can you explain why you're locked up? Security claimed I violated some trumped up regulation or another. Take it up with them if you want. But they stopped listening to me shortly before they stopped feeding me. Now that's criminal. What is this oh, you place? mean you didn't come here on purpose? I'm shocked. I really am. This slice of paradise is the Paragus Mining Facility. The only supplier of shipping-grade engine fuel to this corner of the galaxy. Paragus Fuel plays havoc with engines, but it gets the job done. As long as you don't mind the toxic byproducts and trying to mine it without blowing yourself up. Blow yourself up? Yeah, this asteroid belt is one giant minefield. One proton torpedo, even a stray blaster shot, can start an explosion that'll make the one that shattered Paragus 2 look like a kid's pop detonator. You know the planet with the exposed core you saw flying in? That hole was caused by the first mining station that tried to siphon fuel off the planet. Blew a whole chunk out of the planet and set it drifting out here in a big clump of fuel-cooled asteroids. So the miners drill the asteroids now, not the planet's surface. That's why they don't allow blasters here. Can't trust a miner jumped up on Juma Juice not to fire one stray shot that'll turn the entire colony into a thermal detonator. This is... The facilities are deserted. What happened? You mean before or after that Jedi showed up? Either way, it's a real short story. You see, this Jedi shows up, and you know what that means. Where there's one Jedi, the Republic will soon be crawling up your ion engine in no time. But the story gets better. See, some of the miners get it into their ferrocrete skulls that since the Jedi's unconscious, they can collect the bounty the exchange has posted for live Jedi. Well, what passes for the law here didn't like that idea. So the two groups started fighting. Then there was some big explosion, and then I was sitting here for a long time, waiting for some half-naked miner to show up and ask a bunch of questions. What's up, Bounty? I captured Jedi. Why? Don't know much about it. Maybe the Exchange wants one as a trophy, or somebody's got something against Jedi and is looking to collect. Not many Jedi left. Wouldn't surprise me if the Bounty's pretty high. Not many Jedi left? What happened to them? The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is there's not even a Jedi Council anymore, but who knows? What 
Or the stories were of the Sith, not the Jedi. Yeah, Revan, Malak, and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian Wars. They turned against the other Jedi and had a scrap that almost laid waste to the galaxy. <laughs> Where have you been? I've been away since the Mandalorian Wars. Well, I wasn't there, but like all Sith, Revan and Malak turned on each other. After they turned on the Jedi, of course. Rumor I heard said Reverend defeated Malik and then went to a court man. Nope, don't like that one, never mind. I was led to believe that Revan saved the Jedi and the Republic. There we go. I That's guess. It. There's rumors all over space about it. All I heard was Revan returned to pay Malik back for trying to kill her in the first place. You know women. How long have you been in the cage, Revan? Was a man or a woman? Maybe you're right. Maybe I just hoped Revan was a woman. That's another question Look, for you. Look, no offense or anything, but your weird half-naked interrogation isn't my idea. Hey, wait a minute. You're that Jedi the miners were talking about. Where is everybody? I don't know, the facility seems banned. Well, the miners can't all be gone, but if they are... Look, hey, let me out and I can help you. I can. I've gotten out of trouble countless times. Just in case you don't understand the trouble we're in, let me lay it out for you. This facility is a series of mining tunnels dropping kilometers into the asteroid's core. Every worker and droid here has been cleared, then triple cleared for hazardous operations. This facility has an operational threat level so high they don't let uncleared starships in system out of fear that an accidental engine discharge will create a very brief, very hot new sun in this sector. You know why? Because every asteroid in this orbiting minefield has deposits of Paragian fuel within it. That means when one decides to pop, its brothers and sisters are going to come along for the ride. One explosion, you might survive. But a hundred? A thousand? You'll be riding out of here on a comet trail, Jedi. So if something's gone wrong here, you can cling to the Force all you want. But nothing will stop this place from going critical. Do you have some plan for getting out of here? This facility isn't a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down the cell security field, and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We grab a ship, and then we fly out of here. Trust you, and we can work together. We may be able to get out of, here, out of this mess. Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. All right, let's go. All right, here we are. Now this console is set on automatic hail. You may have heard it when you came in. The asteroid drift charts are constantly being updated, so it sends out a transmission to incoming vessels so they don't get crushed into space dust. The hail warns them to keep their distance until orbital drift charts are transmitted, and then provides docking instructions to incoming ships, usually freighters. Thing is, you can bounce that same transmission back to the comm here, and suddenly you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Pure pizzack. The console's ours. Now, all we need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and... Hey! The system's been severed from the main hub, after it was locked down from remote. You can't even reroute the system, it's been cut clean. That wouldn't be standard procedures in emergency lockdown. No. Someone tried to lock down this whole level tight, and leave us here. Trapped. Is there anything else we can do with this council? I doubt it. All we have is communications back. For all the good trying to shout in a vacuum will do us. Can we contact the miners? We could try. But if the miners were trying to trap you up here and probably kill you, why not call them and chat? I don't think a friendly call is going to wake them up. Let's see if we could try and reach someone on the council. Be my guest. Not much else we can do. The comm's all yours.
dragged the freighter in. It was lucky it wasn't destroyed when it drifted into the asteroid field. Not much on board. One damaged droid, one annoying protocol droid, and a lot of bodies. Sent the survivor to medical and the others to the morgue. Didn't recognize the ship's ID code, so we transmitted it to the Republic for some answers. Questioned the protocol droid about what happened. Says his master, the survivor, I guess, was on the Republic ship the Harbinger when it suffered an engine failure. He says the survivor was a passenger on the vessel and a Jedi. If so, that's going to mean true. Well, that got cut off. That's not good. Inventoried the bodies and cargo. Everything matches the protocol droid story. The T3 droid had seized up, so he left it in storage in standby mode. Don't know what code will access it. It could be its voice activated for all we know. We put the protocol droid to work in maintenance, sorting the mining droid comm routines and updating the recognition sensors. Man, to shut him up. When the survivor recovers, hopefully we can get him off this station before there's a... Trouble between the work shifts. Word of the Jedi leaked out and the miners aren't sure what to do with him. Corda's mining crew wanted us to collect the creds for the bounty the Exchange has on Jedi, but I put a stop to that. We're contacting Telos to get the Republic records on the Jedi, but nobody will... Still no word from the Republic. But I've sent out a Broadcom transmission for records on this Ebon Hawk. One of the miners said it used to be a smuggling vessel. Accidents are making the miners restless. The droid behavior course must be undergoing some kind of binary decay. Two miners were drilled by a droid's mining laser, and those blasts in the ventilation tunnels nearly caused the whole facility to blow. That wasn't... that doesn't sound good. Oh, response. Can you read that? Do a diagnostics, then follow my instructions. We're trapped on the administration level. Can you lock the turbo lifts? Must be an emergency hatches. Uh, try to find one. Rather risk it than being kept up here. Okay, so we're back to the droid. Okay, this looks like a good place to uh, end first episode. So, uh, yeah. If you're new to my channel, like what you see, please subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment. Maybe you missed something, I don't know. Anything's possible. And uh, you can also share with your friends if you like. You know, it helps me grow my channel. Thank you all for joining me. Bye for now.